today we will be creating this age calculator web app it's a very simple web app so we got this uh, figma design i got it from frontendmentor.io and uh, you can see it's uh, different screens different views actually so so we'll be creating a app like this exact this i have uh, its fonts and its spacing all that thing already configured and uh, let's go and write the code so here you can see uh, i've created a simple uh, like a very clean boilerplate code and you can see we're going to create application from here so let's pause here i create a folder called components okay and in the components i'm going to create date.jsx and date.css as the first two files so in date.js uh, actually we're going to create a simple component why oh, it's not creating yeah i think i'm in the wrong file it should be jsx okay so here then we're going to give class date and create a form with no action actually right now i'm going to give a class name called date form and then on submit you're going to say handle submit and then inside uh, this we have date controls and then inside this we have another div with which we call date control a single date and a label for the day and a class date control label and we're gonna say day then after this we have HTML uh, sorry I mean it input type uh, text is fine then we're gonna give this a value called a day we'll define these values later on so ID day and then class name uh, this class name could be dynamic because it's, it's important to, to put this dynamic class I'll explain everything and then here I'm gonna say date input and we're gonna say date input day i'm using bam methodology and then we're gonna say if we have day error then we're gonna add the error class otherwise no class like empty and we'll, we'll define these uh, variables as state variables state calling because it's a react application okay then here we have uh, spam the class error message and then date day error I'm gonna call it must be a valid day okay then we have another uh, control actually we can copy it single control paste it so we have uh, here for month and I'm gonna call it month here as well and then here we're gonna call obviously month month here as well and wherever we have day we're gonna replace it with the month and uh, yeah here must be a valid month for errors and yeah i think that's it we don't have anything else okay now here also we're gonna change the days to year so you're gonna say year here okay so 
So we have these uh, this HTML actually called JSX defined, but also we have other things that we have to put. So on the day input, we have some values that we have to keep in mind. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll put these values later on the max and the handle change and all that thing. But for now, let's uh, define these variables, whatever we uh, put here in the JSX. And also we have this function called handle submit that we're going to put it here. Handle submit event and dot prevent default you can simply say okay then we have other values like day month and uh, year we got year error month error and day error we're gonna define these so we're gonna define this here day set day to nothing then we have like month use state year set year and then same thing we have for errors day error false we got here month error false we got here year error false and then we're gonna import the state actually use state uh, hook from react i think they should be it and then we're gonna import css file here so you're gonna write the css after this file okay you can see uh, that's our first component and we're going to go to app.js and put this component there so that we can see how it looks like in our application. We're going to import this here uh, in the app. Date. Components date and then here I'm going to say app content day and we'll put other things later, other things later on that's uh, that's how they look like right now and keep in mind we have to create the design like this and you'll see how we are create it okay so let's move to the date CSS file and then and before we do it actually let's uh, we have to add some CSS for the app content uh, div that we have here let's have, let's see how we're gonna do it and we're gonna do it in index CSS file and uh, first of all let's do that for app so for the app you say display flex not important align item center uh, we don't need important and justify content center as well then we're gonna have width 100% then we're gonna have min height to be 100% okay and one thing that you have to keep in mind okay 100% and then uh, nothing actually so we're gonna now create app content you know the inner div we have for the application so we're gonna say width to 100 rm ram actually max width to 80 80 rm sorry it's 80, 80 rm background 
going to be equal to white and padding is 5 I have calculated everything just to let you know from the design border radius to be 2.4 RAM then we got 2.4 RAM again and 20 RAM and then 2.4 RAM again just to create that exact design transition to be uh, transition actually all 3.3 seconds and we're gonna add the height as well for now but we will replay, uh, delete it later on 61 pixels and you see actually let me let's, uh, create that's how we uh, that's how it look like okay um, it's not in the center that's uh, okay because for the app content we didn't find the margin so we're gonna say margin to be 0 25 pixels for now it's again it's not in the center I am wondering why is that but for now we can keep it like that and let's work on the date thing uh, date CSS so let's see the date CSS so we already have the JSX written so let's now work on the CSS and we're gonna say date width to be 100 percent and then we got date form display flex flex direction column you can see why is that and then gap gonna be equal to 4.7 rem width again 100% and then font family just inherit okay so that's a uh, dead CSS by the way I think it's now working but I'll see I'll see let's uh, suppose here I put the background color just to see if it is working or not okay it's working okay now we're gonna add other classes date controls display flex again align item center this time width is 75 percent initially justify content flex start and gap to be two run so that's how it's looking like that. Uh, right now you will see why is that must uh, be a valid width there i will see it okay now we have this uh, date control the single element date control label actually so we're gonna say font size to be 1.4 rem font weight to be 700 okay and then about the input date control input Padding going to be equal to 1.2 RAM and then 2.4 RAM. I already defined uh, why I'm using this RAM. I already defined this in index CSS. As you can see, HTML font size 62.5%, which enables you to use um, RAM instead of pixels. And I don't recommend using pixels for bigger values. So if you have values less than 10 or 10 pixel, then you can use pixels otherwise always use RAM just to make a flexible and responsive design okay so we have this border radius equal to 8 uh, pixels so width is 100% again then we're gonna say border radius uh, we already have border radius this time border only one pixel solid DC 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 I guess this is and then we have font size to be 3.2 RAM uh, color to be I think it's uh, 
151515 and then font family again inherit and then font weight gonna be equal to 700 see that's how it looks like right now but we're still working on it and uh, you'll see how it becomes at the end and then here we're gonna say um, like right now you click on it you see this I'm gonna change it to this behavior I'm gonna say date control input focus when you focus I just want to put that design equal according to our Figma solid variable uh, we have primary color variable we already created an index CSR just to show you so now if you click you will see okay and I'll uh, yeah that's fine now we're gonna see uh, we're gonna uh, see here error message class uh, position absolute color just red color top 105 percent font size gonna be equal to 1.4 rem then we have font style that's uh, italic font weight to be 400 opacity 0 and then also transition again to 0.3s and just to show you how it looks like that's 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 it right now and i think there's some problem uh that this is oh we are it's fine but we should uh, write this in date csx date css actually the question is why uh, yes i think we miss something here so after date controls, we miss something called date control. Just to show you date JSX again, this is date controls, the whole container of all the inputs and then date control for one input element with the label included. So we have date control. I'm gonna say flex grow to one. Again, just to put it according to whatever we have in the design flex flex direction column gap 0.8 rem which is equal to 8 pixels i'm sorry i think i told you we can put here 8 pixels because it's a very small value position relative and now you'll see okay how it's looking now it's okay now we're gonna do it actually i'm gonna hide this error for now because this will be based on uh, reactivity of the user now we get this error message and then here and just to show you if we have here we're gonna say date control date input if this a date input has error class only then we're gonna say outline equal to one pixel solid uh, red color which is f 0 3e 3e and we can use uh, same color here also do not use uh, color names you better use hex values because different browsers understand dif different colors for their color color names so it's always recommended to use hex values so date actions here and just to show you where are date actions actually we have not defined date actions yet here in this here in this uh, form so just let me show you what uh, what a date action look like okay so we have not written any code for date actions jsx that's what i want that's what i mean i mean so here we're gonna say date actions um, we, got, we have an HR with the class of line 
you'll see why I need it button I'm gonna say type submit just for now here I'm gonna say submit and that's what you see here if we go to the design you see we, we need this guy this button okay now just to write it CSS and before we do it I need this icon and I have its SVG already in public in the icon as you can see so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a, a SVG component here so I can we need SVG because we want to use it we want to change its color as well so we have here called icon submit dot jsx so i'm going to just do this and then i think i don't need anything else just we're going to copy this it's svg control a okay control a control c go here and then rather than div we need svg and that's it we're going to import this uh, import this icon gonna say day uh, sorry submit icon I can submit actually sorry so I can submit we're gonna put it here in place of submit text I can submit I think that's uh, yeah I'm gonna save and you see here what we have and uh, we have to write some CSS for the date actions and the buttons right? And we're gonna go to date CSS again and then we're gonna write CSS for the date action and the button and HR just to uh, make it exactly what we have in design. So we're gonna say date actions and display flex. Now we got align items to make it center, position relative, then we have HR. You know we put HR there which is in date actions and we're gonna say its width to be 100% height to be something like 5.5 pixels font weight to be 400 let's see that's how we're looking and now let's uh, design design button actually so you have button here with no border background color transparent you can see how it looks and then cursor pointer and now we have to work on its uh, width actually which is 9.6 rem and then height also 9.6 rem and then transition to be all 3.3 seconds okay and then you will see and that's how it looks and we want to actually work on this hover state and that's why we use svg and you're gonna see what it means so date actions button svg so you're gonna say it's width to be 100 percent i don't know it's uh, needed but let's put it height also to be 100 percent and then transition to be all 0.8 seconds just to show you okay um, uh, let's work on this uh, state hover state as you can see here in the design if we go to a different screen you see it's a black when you hover on it that's what we want to work on okay I'm gonna say here date actions button hover when you hover over it svg rect should be filled to 000, zero. let's see you can see it's working okay now what we're gonna do here we will add uh, we will add other things later on it's uh, design like responsive design However, you can see here I can add, I can put here. Uh, it's not why it's, why it's not working.
Oh, this is strange. Let me see if we have some error. Oh, I guess I understand. So because we have um, hard coded it with the values we have, so we have to work on it. Work on it for now. I want to comment this for now just to show you what I want to show you. So right now, as you can see, I put values. I don't want to put these values. I just want to put the numbers and only here two characters, here two characters, and here four characters only, just to allow the user to put only what we want him to put. So what we're gonna uh, do here? Um, okay, we can uh, uncomment this. Here we're gonna define on change of the day we're gonna say handle change handle day actually handle day uh, here we're gonna say on change handle month so when user type in in the year month or day we want to handle it and just to validate and all that thing we have handle then here we can say handle here all right and also I yeah, want to put placeholders here so for this DD day mm for month so two characters month sorry it actually it's a uh, four character year here it's uh, mm and then this is the day gosh my keyboard okay and then here i can uh, define the functions handle day handle month handle year handle month I uh, think there must be something wrong with the spelling yes you see that's how it looks and uh, now we will work on the validation again anything uh, nothing is working so what we're gonna do for the validation I have some functions already defined I don't want to waste time on JavaScript you can see the code my focus here is to just on the design thing so I already have uh, code so I'm gonna put e here so validate okay by the way I we have this validate day I'm gonna show you actually validate day validate month validate year utility functions I already defined those already okay and these utility functions I have in a folder called util I'm gonna create a folder and then in the utils I'm gonna uh, create a file called validate.js and here I have functions for validation just to put in the input what we want the user to put you will see what I mean and then here we're gonna import those uh, those functions validate day validate month validate year 
Okay, and now I can't, if I'm typing, I can't type English word if I am typing uh, here. Number, I can only type number, but I can type more than uh, what I want. So two numbers here, two numbers here, and four, four numbers here. So only these characters I want to put. So for that, again, I'm going to say, uh, we can do something like here in the input simple. We can say max length to be two for the day, same for the month, and not same for the year. Actually, we want four characters here. Oh, I can type in four. Now, if I want to type more than two, I can't. And you see, there's no month like 23, so month are only 1 to 12 so if i put 13 which is not a month i i get this i, I don't know why I'm, I'm not getting that error message but I'll see it and but you see it's uh like th there's no day which is 32 so that's why you see this okay and also if i put here um like 2024 which is not a year right now so it will give you an error so that's that's the validation i was talking about okay um uh, that's a uh, hit for now for the day and uh, let's work on other things now we have a day here i don't know why that uh why that message is not working uh which is error message day error uh date month error date year error I think I need to put some other CSS so handle day handle month handle year I have okay here um, I want to I want to also define the submit function as well handle submit so I already have the handle submit function uh, which with all the logic defined but not on return I'll put it later on here you submit uh, you see there's no values that's why you, get, you see that error message okay by the way now um, let's work on the other thing like this output where you have the actual data after we entered it for that i'm gonna create another component called output dot jsx then a another file output dot css okay now for the output dot jsx um i can write i can keep on writing html as i already show you or i can just copy and paste jsx as there's no uh i already defined you how to i can already show you how to define so uh, how to write uh, jsx so i'm gonna just copy and paste here okay so we got uh, this uh, jsx and uh, for the output i'm gonna write actually the CSS one by one that's what I'm gonna show you in the app JS, JSX I'm gonna go to the app JSX and then here I'm gonna say import um, output You can see uh, this is how it look like because there's no CSS at all so let's define its uh, CSS and uh, you can see JSX first uh, sorry for the output and all these uh, classes we're gonna use output output item output number text and all these things let's go to uh, output CSS and then define its CSS so for the let's see output so we're gonna say font size to be 10.4 m 
okay it's going out of it so that's why i asked you that we this height is something that we're gonna disable later on so i disable you see now we get this we got this okay now what we're gonna do here uh, in the date csx again so i'm gonna say font weight to be 800 just to look like this and then also font style to be italic italic oh what's going on i know i understand so it's font style line height to be 1.2 okay now we're gonna go to the output item It's uh, display flex. Uh, I'm talking about these. This this is one single item. And line item to be center. Gap to be eight pixels. You can see. And then we're gonna go to the output number. These two dashes that you see. With this is output number. I'm using BAM methodology for CSS classes as I told you. It's a classic one. I'm gonna I'm gonna use other CSS frameworks like uh, a, a utility classes framework. And now we have Tailwind later on in, in the next projects, but just to um, make you addict of real uh, you should know real CSS before we go to the any CSS framework. Okay, you see, that's how it looks like. And then at the end, I think nothing else. We will do other thing later on. Now, um, yeah, that's uh, for the output. And now um, let's, when we put the number here, let's post 12, 11, 1995 or 96, seven, whatever. Here I put it, I don't get anything here because that function is not working. So what I'm gonna do here, uh, I have a, in the utils, I have a function called calculate age js. So I define this function. I can simply uh, paste it here. I don't need to explain that because again, I'm not using J uh, JavaScript here. I'm using only js. Uh, the design okay I'm I'm, um, I'm showing you just a design okay so this function we have calculate age I think we're gonna use in date JSX so we're gonna define uh, I think it's uh, yeah it's in date JSX so here we're gonna say import calculate age from that file and then here I'm gonna say on edge you will see what I mean when I say on edge it's a prop that comes from app.js we pass day month year to calculate our age Okay, and then as I told you that age is the on age is the prop on the date component. That's how we're gonna put here on age. And again, I'll go to the app.js. We will pass that prop the what what we what we're using here. So we're gonna say on age gonna be equal to handle age, and that's the function we're gonna define handle age. Handle age, uh, where is that function by the way? Yeah, this is the function, we're gonna say handle age. Here we got that calculated age from that function, calculate age, which we define in utils, I told you. Console log, we can do that calculated age. And then we can set it to a st 
state and then we just notice that uh, this uh, app content as you can see is not in the center as according to our design if we uh, just see and go and see design you see it's uh, not that in the center so let's put it in the center actually so what we're gonna do here uh, I think yes this is missing it needs not to be 100% it needs to be VH 100 VH uh, height always okay so uh, now <clears throat> we're gonna do uh, if we put here values as you can see 2 3 uh, 11 and then 1996 enter we are not getting anything because in the app JS <clears throat> although we are getting calculated at age but here we need to define states so that we can update those states in the um, other components so we're gonna say use state to an empty object and we also need to define use state I mean need to import it from react not react redex but only react okay and uh, now here we're gonna say we're gonna say set age to calculated age whatever the calculated age is as I told you that's defined in this function that I already uh, defined now <clears throat> what we're gonna do here in the date I'm gonna say I, I think I already have it on age handle age but in the output I need to pass that value age age because if I show you the <clears throat> age there in uh, I think in output JS we what, what is this by the way a is not defined a is not defined a is not defined what is this a so if you go to the app something there must be yeah what is a we don't have any a it's just age yeah, i think whatever it is and that was um, file save error okay by the way now if what i do here if i put values here 2 2 11 11 90 90 7 enter you see we get the values okay and I want to make it now responsive like it's mobile responsive it's not that mobile responsive right now especially you see there's a you see this guy this thing this uh, horizontal scroll bar we don't want that scroll bar, scroll bar and I think that's possible if you just make it mobile responsive so for that what we're gonna do I have some design here I uh, wish I can put it in index CSS to make it mobile responsive so I'm gonna say max width media I'm gonna put a media query I'm gonna say max width if it is uh, 760 pixels which is I think for tab I'm gonna do here font size to be 50% when it's uh, on tab and the app content div width to be 100% and max width also to be 100% and now if you just decrease it you see how every thing it is uh, all the values are decreased just by that font size equal, uh, equal to 50% because every value that I we have defined the pixels the spacing it is in uh, sorry I mean the font the spacing it is in uh, REM RAM not pixels if it was in pixels then that could not become responsive only because of this line one single line okay um, you can see it's responsive now it's not that responsive when we are on mobile phone so we will also make it responsive for mobile phone and that for that I'm going to just um, uh, I'll just copy this paste here 
and then here I'm gonna say 600 pixels for smaller devices and for that I'm gonna I'm gonna say phone size equal to 30% and also what I want I want that the body for the body element I want overflow to be hidden okay as you can see here you see that's how it looks like on mobile and if we have very smaller mobile phone like small phones so we can also make it responsive for that which is 14 pixels you can uh, define over your own uh, breakpoints these are called breakpoints so font size is two, uh, 23 percent here and let's see think it, okay now you can see it's responsive for almost all these smaller devices and the bigger device as well like if you increase uh, sorry not this the browser width it's again responsive All right, now um, what I can do is that uh, I also want to add the uh, it's a dark mode. Uh, how do I do it? This this dark mode is not in the design, by the way, but I want to add it because I like dark mode. So what I'm gonna do? I already have dark mode um, component defined in other project that I did on. Uh, like in the previous video it was a dictionary web app so I'm gonna just use that I'm not gonna create that by default I'm gonna just use it here I'm gonna uh, create a folder called theme handler and then I'm gonna just uh, create the necessary files is theme handler dot CSS Then we got here theme handler dot jsx. I'm gonna just use that. As you can see, we have theme handler, and now we also need icons here. I will attach, uh, by the way, GitHub repo where you can get this. Sorry, not new folder. We want only file icon moon that JS. You'll see what it is. And then I also want a. I'll not explain why we need I why I need this because I already did this in the previous video. So we have switch component. index uh, js or you can say index jsx whatever i will recommend index jsx by the way and i'm not using another smart so i'll not do it so here i'm gonna do um switch js uh, index js and then here i'll have switch dot css and i'm gonna copy the css file as well I've changed primary color to whatever whatever our primary color is by the way okay now what I want to do now next is I think we don't need anything else for now so I'll just use it in app.js okay so in app.js I'm gonna use here in the app theme handler I'm gonna import it theme handler which is in components and then theme handler folder and then theme handler okay so it's saying module not found icon moon 
icon mode did we save the file we save it but in theme handler we don't have icon mode because this still uh, we have the error is that uh, module not found can't find module icon mode or doesn't match corresponding name in disk okay so let's call it icon moon.js and it's not showing you here i think and uh, for that i'm gonna go to app.js and i think i've not put the theme handler css first so let me put it you see uh, we have this theme handler although i think it uh, there's no functionality of it, so that is in app.js. It's a functionality I'm gonna just copy and paste that here in app.js We don't have use effect. I'm gonna just import it And yes, so when clicking it on, we will add mode, dark mode, whatever it is. And for that, we're gonna have to, um, we have to define a dark mode CSS. So here we can say body dark. If, if the body had has dark mode CSS applied or class applied, then its background color would be this, and its color would be something like this I think it's a primary color or maybe it's a bit change I got a bit of variation 854DFF is the color let's see you see how we have to uh, like work on these design the inner content and we're gonna say when there's a dark mode on the parent dark class on the parent the app content which is this white uh, card background color it should be three two three two three two let's see you see that's how it looks now we're gonna do uh, i think what's only these input box are remaining so for that we're gonna go to date css and in the date css i'm gonna say here if we have dark class on the parent then date control input uh, would be something like background color to be 444 why well, it's not okay and no border and color to be primary okay see this you see I think that's it no the output CSS needs to be like these number needs to be different so let's see how we're gonna do it for that we're gonna go to the output CSS and we're gonna apply a dark mode there as well in the dark mode I'm gonna say dark um, output number need to be the color of output number should be 
something like DA, just a variation, CAFF. -F. You'll see it. So here you can see put the values. Okay, so that's the dark mode applied. I think that's it for now. And uh, just, okay guys, again, uh, as you know guys, I'm, a, I'm new here on YouTube, uh, I'm creating, I'm trying my best to create new videos. So if you like this, uh, like if you like this video, just comment, comment and tell me uh, how you feel about this video. And also, if you have some design that you want me to convert into HTML or React, just let me know, I'll, I'll, I'll convert it. And also, um, whatever, like what, uh, what CSS framework you are liking, mostly we have now uh, Tailwind CSS, I can also use that uh, to create the next design. Um, yeah, just let me know uh, how uh, you want me to work on the, uh, on the next uh, video. I'll create, otherwise I have a plan to create a portfolio website next time. Uh, the design especially in the whole page. And we'll see, I'll see you then next time and just like it. Uh, and also if you have not subscribed yet, just do subscribe it and share with your friends who you think that need these kind of tutorials and yeah that would be great thank you guys uh see you in the next video